Hi guys, I'm Max Weinbach with XDA TV, and today I'm going to show you some new software from Vidhance, which is a uh, company that will license their software over to Android OEMs for video. So, let me show you a couple of the demos of the software they have available, and let's get started. Before we go outside for the demos, I wanted to show you the Pixel I will be using. This is a Google Pixel 2. Uh, this has a bunch of custom software. Now, this isn't normal uh, stock Pixel Android. This is actually an AOSP-based ROM with this Vidhan software added to it. So if we go to Stabilizer, we can see it's black because the camera's pointing down. But if we go to Settings here, we have all of these new options. Auto Exposure, Auto Focus, Flash, Frame Rate, Hyperlapse, everything. Now, I keep the LDC factor at 100 because that is something I cannot remember what it is. But down here, we also have the different stabilizer modes. Now, in Selfie Mode, I keep it on selfie mode. Uh, there is something called horizon correction and standard and whatnot. So throughout the rear camera, I'm going to do standard and selfie mode. I'm going to keep it in selfie mode. Horizon correction was actually able to keep the horizon line. So if you move the phone up and down, it'll try to keep it stable. Uh, a phone that actually has this currently is the Moto Edge Plus. Uh, Vidhance worked with them and their software is part of the phone. It's part of a couple other phones from a couple other OEMs. But Vidhance is not able to say which phones, what software, and they're only able to say who their clients are, which would be the OEMs. Uh, so these are kind of the settings. There's also Video Enhancer, and I have all these turned on because I have no idea what they do, but they look cool. Recorder type is just going to be some other stuff in resolution. I have it set to 1080p because 4K is a little overkill for these tests. Now, in Auto Zoning, which is, again, my favorite, and you'll see why in a second... We have AZ draw overlays, blah, 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 blah. Basically, uh, these are the settings that help with the zoning, and most of these are just user interface focused, so it's not worth mentioning as to uh, how I have this set up. Live Composer, though, same thing. I don't have Stabilizer crop, ena crop enabled because I wanted to have it a little wider of a scene, but I did crop in nonetheless. You can also select frame rate, focus, exposure, and whatnot, and then zoom speeds. Now, I keep it on medium because I think that looks the best, but there is very slow, slow, medium, fast, very fast, and instant. You'll see kind of what these do in a second, uh, and I think it'll make a lot more sense once I get to this part of the video. So, without further ado, let's go outside and test these all out. So, this first one here is all about stabilization. Uh, at the bottom, we have no stabilization, or if we do, it's going to be EIS. At the top, we have uh, Vidhance stabilization. So as I'm walking, the phones are kind of moving around, they're kind of jiggling, and you can notice one is a lot more unstable. Now the Vidhance software is going to crop in more to my face. Why? Because it has to keep a larger frame for it to crop into. So that's why it's going to be a little bit more like that. Now I know the lighting kind of sucks because the sun is the sun, but there's not much I can do about that. It's a very sunny day and I limited to just my backyard because of coronavirus. But the stabilization is all around good. If I take a little run, little jog, not run, uh, it's still stable and it looks really good. So that's front facing stabilization. Let's go to the rear. So this is rear camera stabilization. If I just take a couple steps, you can see bottom camera's a little shaky. Well, top camera should be a little bit more stable. Vidhand software is based off both EIS and OIS because that is enabled. So as I move it around, it should stay more stable. And if I kind of run a little, like this, I am bouncing a little bit more than someone normally would while running, but it should stay stable as well. It's the great part about this software. No matter what you do, the cameras stay stable. This next feature is called auto zoning. So as you can see, when I move the camera back and forth, it moves the frame back and forth. All right, that's exactly how it should work. But what I can do is on the Vidhance, I can tap on one area and it will crop into that specific area. As you saw, it should have just cropped in. Now, when I move the phone around, that one area is gonna look like the phone isn't even moving and it's gonna crop into that one area. Well, you can see at the bottom, the phone is most definitely moving. And if I kind of shake it around like this, it should try to stay with that area 
in the zone and with absolutely no moving. This is probably the most impressive demo they have and it is one of my favorite features to try out. Because like, honestly, this is insane. It looks like there's no moving of the frame and if it does, it's really minimal artifacting, which is just crazy. I, I, I had no idea this would even be that good and while looking at some of these demos uh, I had tested earlier, it is insane. So this last demo is called Live Composer. Now, you might be wondering what that is, and I was too. So when I was on my call with uh, Vidhance, they had told me Live Composer is just really good zoom. So, if you zoom in on the bottom, I'm not sure if I'll actually zoom in, I had some issues with it, um, just changing the exposure, but I should have just zoomed in on the bottom pixel. And it should zoom in and then zoom out, right? It doesn't look that great. And if it does have those issues with exposure again, I'll just try to fix it in post. Now, on the top pixel, the Vidhance pixel, when I zoom in, it's a lot smoother, it's a lot more stable, and it generally looks a lot better. Again, it's kind of hard to tell uh, the difference because I'm not sure if the, the, the stock pixel is actually working, but on the top pixel with Vidhance software, it is zooming in really nice, it's going smoothly, it's going fluidly, and it looks good. I can do it to a bunch of different angles, and different dimensions, different amounts of zoom, and it looks good no matter how I do it. It is really impressive software, and I'm honestly surprised it is that good. It also has a little bit of stabilization in there, so when panning will zoomed in, it'll kind of buffer some of the, the, the motion jerkiness, and it'll look a lot better. So if I move the camera a little faster, it'll try to pat it a bit and have a more natural motion. It looks very good. Again, the bottom pixel doesn't do that and I'm not sure if it's gonna be working since these are custom software and the stock camera app is a little bit not great. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about all this Vidhance software and the improvements Vidhance is able to make to the camera software. Uh, I think it's really cool and I'm really excited to hopefully be able to get my hands on the Moto Edge Plus to test this software out in the wild in a uh, non-demo environment. It looks really cool and I'm honestly really excited to try it out. So thank you for watching and again, let me know what you think about all of it.